Gloria, at the festival, you worked for the Independent Research Service. That's right. Uh, well, exactly when did your own association with the CIA start and in what fashion? Did they come to in, you or did you go to them? In 1958, when I came home from, from India, I discussed with student leaders, past and present, uh, many of them active with the National Student Association, this kind of small foundation to encourage Americans to go. They thought it was a good idea, too. I was then told by foundations and professors and friends that, it, that I should not do this, that I would get in trouble with the House on American Activities Committee, the American Legion, all of those 50s people. Uh, and I became convinced that it was impossible. It was at that point that the student leaders said to me that they had in the past received funds for international programs from the CIA and that they felt that this was important and could also be partly funded by the CIA. Well, I mean, did you feel that you really tried? I mean, did you go around to all of the wealthy found mm -hmm. private foundations, uh, wealthy private people and, and explain your point of view and, and explain why you felt it was important that the United States be represented at these things in a certain way. What did they tell you? Uh, they told me that, well, the Ford Foundation, for instance, told me that they thought we were uh, too liberal and too controversial and that we would endanger their cultural programs in Austria when the first festival was being held in Vienna. It was not encouraging at all. And the, the private individuals to whom I went uh, often had uh, particular points of view to put forward, which would have been much, much more restricting than, than uh, the CIA funds were, which were free. I mean, no one was told what to say. You mean they were free? You mean to say it was easier for you to work for the CIA than a private organization? That's right. That's right. And, and the, the reason I think that comes as a surprise as it did to me at the time. I mean, I had uh, the conventional liberals view of the CIA as a right-wing incendiary group. And I was amazed to discover that this was far from the case, that they were enlightened, liberal, nonpartisan activists of the sort who characterized the Kennedy administration, for instance. You have not been working now uh, uh, for the CIA since 1962. Mm -hmm. uh, you still criticize. Uh, you were down oh, recently yes. in Washington. <laughs> yes, when the when the story broke that I had once been that I had for four years been a Central Intelligence agent, I was demonstrating outside the Pentagon, underneath Mr. McNamara's office, against bombing in Vietnam, and uh, this didn't precisely fit with the image of a CIA agent. But then, neither does the CIA.